Okay, hey, Zmega here. I'm getting my, uh, my little digital speedometer here ready. Um, so let's go pick up the scooter. I know it's heavier now, so hopefully I don't, I don't hurt my back doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is pretty heavy on the back now. Okay, okay so there it is. There, I got the scooter back together. Uh, before it gets too dark, I'm going to go take it for a spin. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna ride with the, with the phone here. We're gonna see what kind of top speed we can get out of this. And just take it for a little test spin. Hopefully the chain doesn't come off. And uh, also I have to do a brake test, but we can do that after we put the phone down. Cause I can't, I can't work the brake. All right, so this is a uphill right here, actually, in my street. Ooh, it does feel like it's got a lot of power. Just a little bit of a twist. It, uh, so now you can actually milk the throttle. You know, you don't have to really go full throttle all the time. So we're going five miles an hour right now. And I'm not even doing like, I'm doing about like quarter throttle. Um, it doesn't like it though. Um, all right, so let's go full throttle. So that's about half throttle right there. Okay, half, uh, it's a little more, that's probably three quarters of a throttle is, is 10 miles per hour. I can feel it's got a lot of power still. <laughs> It's, it's just motoring up this hill before it had some trouble. Okay, full twist. All right, okay, that's full twist right there. Ah, so it's like, it's 11 miles per hour. <laughs> 11 miles per hour top speed. So we got an extra mile, miles per hour. But I feel it, it feels faster though. It feels like it's got like a, a whole lot more torque. Let's go, uh, let's go take it, uh, Let's go take it. Uh, let's take it down the block now. We should be able to go a little bit faster down, going down the block. Twist. It definitely accelerates much faster. <laughs> there we go. We got 12, 12, 13, 13, <laughs> 13 miles an hour. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little kick. 14 miles an hour. Woo! <laughs> We're flying, dude. All right, so it looks like your top speed is about anywhere from like 11 to 13 miles an hour, and like uh, it's eating, uh, it's eating, and it run, it runs real smooth too. It runs real smooth. All right. 12. Yeah. So we got we picked up about two more miles per hour. So that's good. That's great. I'm really happy with that. It's a little bit faster. It definitely has more torque, you know. It can pull you up the hill. Uh, we're going to have to go go do some uh, hill climb tests. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to do some hill climb tests. Maybe we can even ration. I might want to hook a little speedometer up to this if I, if I, if there is a way I can do that. I mean, I guess I can use my phone. But um, I've been wanting to get a ram mount for this. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so here we go again. Full twist. 11 miles per hour on a slight, 12 miles per hour on a slight incline. There we go, 12. So 12, 12 to 14 miles an hour is gonna be your top speed on a flat, flat surface. Okay, so this is a little bit of a downhill. We'll do it again. Full, we're going full twist right now. 15 I saw for a second. No, I, I doubt it. <laughs> I think my GPS screwed up. Anyway, 13. You can tell it's working hard. 14. Yeah, so so about your, your top speed is going to be around 12 to 14 miles per hour, depending on if you're on an incline or not. All right. So let's just see how it is riding this scooter. Man. Whoa, whoa, boy, is it off? it's a lot faster. It doesn't slow down as fast. <laughs> So mind you that this is not at full power yet. This is the only 250 watt controller I have on this scooter. So I'm gonna go put my little speedometer down. Actually, let's do um, let's do some more some more little tests here. Um, so I'm gonna go. This is a quarter throttle again. We're gonna try that again. So it's about four miles per hour quarter throttle. Half throttle is about five or six. Three quarters. About eight miles per hour. 
and then full twist. 12 miles an hour. So that extra tooth on the sprocket and uh, yeah, the extra tooth on the sprocket and the more power, you know, it, it, it works good, man. It gives me more power. It still, ha it still slows down on the corners a, li a bit, but uh, I guess it's okay. Cool. And it looks like the chain is okay. The chain, uh, it's, it's pretty quiet. It, it doesn't seem like it's uh, rubbing on anything or like it's going to come off or anything. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, put my phone down, and then we'll go do a little some little tests. So, like I mentioned, uh, this is a we're only running a 250 watt controller. I ordered a 350 watt controller, and I will install that when I get it. But I, I don't know when I'm going to get it. It's not here in uh, it's not in America. It's in China right now. So, <laughs> or it's being shipped from China. So it's gonna take take some work. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can do wheelies with this guy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, lay, mateys, Omega. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely the front comes up easier now. Uh-oh, okay, so I was uh, farting around with the scooter and uh, the power the power just killed, died on me. So I think uh, it, uh, I, uh, I've tripped a breaker. Only does that when it's under heavy load. So if you ride it really hard, it does that. So I don't know. I, we may have to upgrade the breaker or something, or the wiring, maybe. Okay, hey, it's Mega here. Back from the little test ride. Sorry, my uh, my action camera ran a juice, so I didn't really get to showcase what it could do all that much besides uh, the speed testing so we found that with the 350 watt motor with the one plus one uh, sprocket in the back uh, in the, the the counter sprocket um, you can go uh, 12 to 15 miles per hour top speeds um, or 12 to 14 I guess if you're on a downhill yeah you probably hit 15 um, I did test the brakes out and they do work, but I need I think I need to tighten the cable a little bit because like I'm squeezing it all away and it's not stopping so fast. So I did um so after I did a bunch of all those wheelies and stuff, uh the the breaker popped. <laughs> so so I think doing a lot of those wheelies, you know, like trying to go in full throttle and you're not going very fast, you know, it puts a lot of strain on the uh on the wiring uh, and the controller, so that eats up a lot of po uh, battery power when you do stuff like that. So, um, I don't know if we're gonna have to upgrade the breaker to like a a stronger one. I don't think we have to because it's supposed to be a nine. It's supposed to be a something amp. I forgot. I forgot what the, what it said. The sticker said, but it was like a. I think it was a. So this one. This one doesn't say it. It's pretty much okay. So there's a the sticker. It's not all chewed up. Yeah. So it says. It's rated at 18.7 amps, so that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of amps, actually. <laughs> that's a lot of power. Um, so I need to go tighten this cable a little bit, um, so we can, uh, so we'll get a little more braking power. Hopefully, it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel like it's getting really hot. But like I said, we're not running that thing at full power yet. Um, the uh, yeah, the brake cable's touching the case. Hopefully, that doesn't mess it up. Uh, we may have to put a little rubber, yeah. We may have to put a little rubber thing around here so it doesn't melt the cable. I I don't know if it will. It's not it's not hot right now, and we were just running it pretty hard. So, um, yeah. So the breaker popped when I was doing the wheelies and riding up and down the block. So you're probably gonna have to be a little careful with the throttle now. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Like it's it is much it is is I wouldn't say it's much faster, but it's definitely faster than it was before. Um, Actually, I haven't I haven't inflated the tires. I haven't checked the tire pressure inflation uh, for a while. So I'm thinking you could probably very likely you could do 15 miles per hour on this if you if you if those tires are like rock hard <laughs> because I, I know it's it goes a little bit slower when the tires aren't um, totally inflated. I, I do it to like like 40 or 50 psi. 
So, so yeah. So there you go. So, um, yeah. So my that's my initial impressions. I think we can get it to go faster with a 350 uh, watt motor. Uh, would it be happier? I I think so. I think uh, you know the the peak current. I think the 350 watts is where it's most efficient. If you can get it to 350 watts it actually won't eat as much power unless you're like yeah you're loading the engine up uh, you're loading the motor up a lot and it's you're not doing it from a higher rpm there's a certain rpm that it wants to be at uh, that's that's like the case for this electric motorcycle here um see so you have a, a tachometer there going from five to six thousand sixty five hundred rpm so that's where you that's where its peak efficiency is at those rpms um, so this one has have a peak R, uh, I, I think, I don't know if I read it on the sticker, um, but anyway, so there you go. That's how to install a ZY 10, 16, uh, uh, 24 volt, 350 watt motor into your Razor scooter. It basically, it's like we just swapped the motor out, but, um, you could probably do this. You could do this with your stock controller, but it's there's no point, man. You're not getting you're not getting full power out of it. Um, you're not getting full power out. This one's a little bit more powerful than the stock controller, and this one has the variable throttle. Um, as I think, as you put more power into the scooter, you want a variable throttle because this thing will just fucking take off. It'll just take off like a rocket, <laughs> and you don't want that. It's like riding, you know, like a like a super bike or something. You just twist the throttle a little bit, and then like you know, it just wants to take off already. Well, it's gonna be like that if you had the old throttle. So you're gonna want to install a variable throttle kit with the with the newer controller. Um, and I'm I'm gonna install 350 watt controller later. So right now we're actually it's it's not running at peak efficiency. It's not running at its most power right now. Where whether it's efficient or not, I don't know, but I think it'll be fine. But it definitely goes much faster. It feels like it's got more power. Um, it doesn't slow down as much on the inclines and stuff. So um, I'm really happy with it. I paid 45 bucks for that motor. Um, and like like I said, like uh, I had to do. It was a lot more work than I bargained for. <laughs> um, I knew it was going to take some work to get it in there, but I didn't know it was going to you know. It was a real problem-solving game, um, trying to get that that big, bigger motor to fit where that little motor fit before. So, it's it's really not that much bigger, but I I knew it had a lot more power. Cause see this uh, this this motor spins so smoothly. The other one was hard to turn. Um, when if it's if the motor is harder to turn, that means you've got uh you've got stronger magnets in the uh, in the motor, and that means more power. You can Stronger magnets, more wires, that means you make more power. And so there you go. So uh, I got about almost, a, so I would say 15 miles per hour top speed on this guy. And we can uh, we can adjust the speed with the variable throttle now. So uh, I don't have to go 15 miles per hour or 10 miles per hour all the time, you know. So, so I'm happy. I'm really happy. Um, uh, I think if we can maintain like a 15 miles per hour all the time would be cool. Um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure we can go, we can push it a little faster if, uh, if we put more air in the tires. I, I haven't put air in the tires in a while, like, like a week or two. So I'm sure it goes down after a while, but it feels okay. Um, yeah, so, so we had to, so like I said, I mentioned we had to modify the, where the motor mounted. We had to move it down more, um, I mean, closer to the right side. And then we had to move all the drivetrain to the closer to the the, the right side of the uh, the motor, so everything would fit. Uh, but it it works good now. It works like it did before, but it just it's just got more power now. So, and it's a little heavier. Uh, it's got a li it's it's a little heavier in the back, so it's a little bit it's a little bit harder to carry uh, when you fold it up. And um, but it pretty much runs the same way as it did before. So hopefully. Uh, Hopefully we should probably, I don't think we need to crimp the solder those wires. I didn't want to solder the wires because, uh, yeah, I didn't want to solder the wires because I didn't, I don't want, I wanted it to be able to fit in that connector properly. So, um, all right. So there it is. That is, a uh, Hades Omega's, uh, 350 watt. Uh, it's like a E, it's a E350 scooter now. <laughs> it's a E350. Um, 
But yeah, it's an E200 modified with the 24 volt, 350 watt motor. Um, I think uh, if you went with like a 36 volt, probably be better. You'd probably be a lot fast. You might be faster. I don't know. But the um, the 36 volt, the wiring won't heat up as fast. So that's probably one of the good things. Uh, um, you're running a higher voltage as opposed to higher amps, you know. Um, yeah. All right. Hope you've enjoyed the my modification video. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a lot of work. <laughs> it was a lot of work getting it. Uh, to, but basically, the part that took the longest was was a uh, um, slotting the the motor mount so it would uh it would fit in there, and then like flipping stuff around so it would fit in there too. Um, it I I cannot see putting a bigger motor in there. There there, there just physically is not enough room. Now, if you were to cut the tail, if you were to cut the tail off and mount the motor on top, then yeah, you could probably do that. Um, yeah, that's probably the best thing to do, just to be to mount the motor on top. But then I don't know how the the chain and all that stuff is gonna like that. You know? um, yeah. So, but anyway, it pretty much runs like it does before. So, all right. Here's my gut. <laughs> okay, I did a little burnout <laughs> right here. I just put my foot on front of, in front of the tire because there's no front brake on this bike, on this scooter, and it just did a little burnout right there. I was like, "Whoa, that was really easy." So now, if you ever ever seen a a racer scooter do burnouts, man, that's a uh, here. I'll, I'll do it real quick. I'll just put my foot in front of the the wheel, and <laughs> it's, I don't want to wear my tires out there. Uh, maybe when a uh, whoa, damn, yeah. Maybe when um uh when when I when I get rid of this tire I'll probably do a burnout until like all the tread is gone. But <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so that's that is pretty cool. Uh, so I went and adjusted the brake uh, more. Uh, I hope it's not dragging. Uh, but actually, well, all I really needed to do was adjust the cable here. There's a brake adjuster here and there's one in the back. So. Um, Maybe I might disengage the chain and freewheel it, and then see if it's it's rubbing at all. But um, it, it breaks like it did before, so that's good. It's got a lot more braking power. I took it for another lap around the block, uh, around the block, full throttle the whole time, and it was fine. It was great. It was fast. <laughs> it felt fast anyway. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it now. Uh, I think this is it should have been this fast in the first place, you know. <laughs> But I don't know, man. Well, yeah, because they should have made like an E350 scooter, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a really small scooter. But but the nice thing about these Razor scooters are they're they're built like a tank, man. They're super duper strong, which makes them really heavy too, though. Um, just imagine if you could upgrade it, upgrade the lipo batteries, and you had a way to charge it while it was in the scooter, and and you got a bigger motor, like like you got like a 48 volt battery pack with the 48 volt motor the that's 350 watts I don't I don't see how you could put a bigger motor on this unless you mounted it on the top um, there you're not going to be able to fit anything else inside there um, the way it was before um, if you you could probably put a 400 or 500 watt if you put it on the top uh, which you could to probably totally do I don't know how the chain is going to do uh, uh, how that's going to affect the chain the chain is going to be like super high yeah, it will be super high. You probably will need a longer chain or something. Um, but anyway, uh, there it is. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to get the 350 watt controller. But for now, um, it's it's faster and it's got more power. So that uh, definitely uh, that uh, that motor and sprocket that it came with uh, definitely did the trick. I'm really really happy with the with the way it turned out. Um, and and you can uh, you don't have to ride it at full throttle. You know. Um, it's so fast that yeah, you probably don't have to twist the throttle all the way all the time, you know. Um, if you, you don't have to go full throttle all the time, you can still do 10 miles an hour if you want to, you know. Um, I'd imagine the range is probably going to be a lot less if you're going to ride it at full throttle, because it's eating up more power. So, um, but it, yeah, like there, but it's it's the efficiency thing again. Um, if you can keep the RPMs up, you know, and keep the load down, you're not going to eat up that much power, you know. So. Um, uh, that's that's also like you know with the rider weight too. If you if I was a lighter rider, I could probably go faster and ride it farther. So, um, 
but uh, it can totally handle like a 200 pound adult you know I'm not 200 100, I'm 175 so <laughs> um, so yeah um, really happy with it man uh, now I can really get up and go with it um, before it was like really slow and it was hard to control at slow speeds and now it just it's a really nice scooter and I didn't pay a lot for the scooter I bought it for like 60 bucks I paid a, I paid 60 bucks for the scooter and um, you know I put $45 in the motor I already had the controller I bought another controller for about 10 bucks I did fry I did um, the batteries um, kind of crapped out on me so I have to install new batteries. So this one actually does have upgraded batteries. So it has two amp hour more um, capacity, so so we can go the distance. So uh, we do know that with the old, with the stock motor, uh, we can do uh, 3.5 miles. So I'd imagine we probably can't do that anymore, <laughs> depending on how you ride it. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking uh, you could probably do three miles or something. You know, but, uh, maybe we'll just go ride around the block. You know. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll see how far we can get it. Um, all uh, another thing I want to do is put a ram mount on it. We'll put a ram mount like uh, like this ram mount. I'll put one of these little ball thingies. It'll be exactly like this one. I'm gonna put one of these on here so I can put my put my phone on it or uh, or my GPS, and then we can use it to you know to track my stuff. Track use it as a map, you know, to track stuff. That should be fun. So. So now I can keep up with those, uh, with those, uh, with the new, uh, new crop of scooters now. <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, basically the thing that's holding me back is the batteries, you know, the batteries aren't, are old school, you know, they're, they're sealed lead acid. So there you go. That is my thoughts on it. Um, it works really good. We're not even pushing it to its max. It is, the chain is kind of noisy. I, I think I will go lube the chain and then, uh, and then we'll see how, I'll, if it gets quieter. I don't think I've lubed it for a little bit. And I've been writing it like in dirty places and stuff. So. All right, easing out.